The week of the 21st of February for Scorpio. The week of the 21st of February for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Give me 10 cards for Scorpio. 10 cards for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Scorpio to know? Scorpio, please, for the week of the 21st of February for Scorpio. The week of the 21st of February for Scorpio. Angels, spirit guides, universe. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the star. A hopeful wish is about to come true, but before that, I feel that a lot of stuff has got to come out of the closet. Angels, we have. Right, so, eight of pentacles, Scorpio, with the four of wands. It's like you've been working on a contract. You've been working on a partnership. You've been working on a home. Um... This is like self-employment with your own money and you're working on your own, making your own money um, towards maybe a contract, a wedding, a home, a partnership. So it's like you're working on a partnership, you're working on a contract, okay? Um, or you're about to be offered a quest with a lot of people in it, a, a team. Uh, you do have the hermit here. There is a light at the end of this tunnel that you're following. You're very focused spiritually and you're, you've wised up. Um, you're very wise to what you're focused on. You've got a lot of knowledge and it's you're just going for it. This could mean this week that you've got to hermit in on your own. You want to be on your own because you've got things that you want to plan because it's a Virgo. That's what they feel. It's deep details. Um... But you need to be alone to, to, to focus on this light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you might be deciding where to put your energy. Because it seems that it's come from the eight. It's like you might have been working on this partnership. But now you just want to work on yourself. Okay? Um, or you've been working on yourself and you've offered this partnership. And you now, you've been on your own for a very long time. And now you're thinking, right. Do I invest in this, this partnership? Do I invest in this contract? Do I invest in this house? Uh, where do I put my money? Where do I put my energy? Now, there is a little bit of a sneaky something going on here. right? Someone could have lied to you. You might have to sneak around with this investment. Um, you might have to be a little bit fox like and use against someone what they use against you um but what i think will happen is you you could have offered someone to live with you or someone might want to live with you but they're being a bit sneaky um <clears throat> it could be something around a house a home a job it could be to do with a virgo the, there's some there's a lot like i said there's something coming out of the closet there's things being exposed here and you're gonna it's like a karmic partnership it's like something so let's just say good judgment watch this the, those those things are coming out of the closet these mummies and judgment is saying you know i'll let you up here to the heaven's gate right but there's a few things that you need to work on because you remember when you slept with your neighbour's wife, right? And they're going to go, oh, yeah. And do you remember? So when I see this, it, it, if someone's been lying, right, and you're deciding whether to be with them or not, right, or you think this, they're being a bit sneaky or they're lying, um, this judgment says to me that nobody's perfect and you've got to look at yourself first and the things that you need to work through and so that when it, it's exposed, everything's exposed, people can begin to heal. It's like you, you can't keep pointing the finger when it's like the person in front of you is teaching you something about yourself. Any people in this, in the cards are catalysts in energies that you, that you need for yourself, okay, to, to, to progress. Um, so let's just say this hermit, say you're with a Virgo. This is saying to you, look, you need to follow this light at the end of the tunnel. Concentrate on yourself for a little while and uh, plan the future. Plan that, that road ahead. Maybe follow something you should have done 10 years ago. 
right? Instead of working on your partnership, this partnership, you're working on yourself, right? Or stop working on this on yourself and work on the partnership. This is why they were at this sort of. It's not a dilemma. It's it, it's kind of like, but can I trust this now? Can I invest this money? When I see the eight go to the seven, that's dropping down a coin, isn't it? Will I lose money? Will I lose energy with this person because they're just going to lie to me? Right? Because they're not they're not the perfect Virgo. They're not that OCD Virgo. If they are an OCD Virgo and you don't feel good enough because things are being exposed, it's complicated. <laughs> Scorpio, it's complicated this week, right? Um, no one's perfect. This is could be a karmic situation. You might have lied to them in another life and they're lying to you now. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, things are beginning to heal, come out of the closet to heal. Um, they, they, it might feel like people are jealous of you and they're trying to push you off your path because little things are starting to go wrong, okay? One minute you're on this quest with these people and it seems like a good idea, and then once you get to this the end of the, the, the thing that you should do for this, this team, you're about to get the fleece out of this dragon's mouth because God asked you to go and get it. All these people turn on you. It's like, hold on a minute, I thought you had my back. I thought you were supposed to help me get this fleece. And they're like, well, why should you have the fleece? Why can't we have the fleece? We've, we, we went on this journey too. And it's because that's your quest. God gave you that to do. Only, who pulls that sword out of a stone? You know, only there's one person can get that particular goal. That's your goal, right? So you're tr that people are trying to push you off from getting this goal. There is this lots of communication this week. There's the arrows of love. Someone wants to come towards you from abroad. Um, or they want to send you texts. Or you're saying things online. This is riding through the dolphin with that little person or this, this couple this couple are riding the crest of a wave and it's like it's fast it's action someone's coming to action 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 the only thing is for some reason there's a there's like a, a, a ending like someone says something they can't unsay or you tell someone something and they say something to you it's like going back to a, a, a relationship where you decide to really end it the second time, you start swearing at everyone and you tell them about themselves some truths. But it's a narcissistic card and no one wins this battle. So in this communication, keep it creative, keep it flowing, uh, keep it lovely, okay? Uh, if you do decide to take someone to the bur and burn a bridge, take someone to the bridge and literally burn that bridge, you know, and so you can't even see them or speak to them again. Um, Pages of Pentacles is here. It could be someone, a child, um, that you're ready to plan, plant seeds for the future. Someone wants to plant seeds for the future. They're very early buds. They're very early things for the next two years, and we can plant the seed, and then we're going to have crops, and then we'll get money. So they're taking their little bit of money and they're investing it in the earth, something grounded, something secure. There's something of a message for the security for the future, but it's very early days or early doors because you've ended something, you've terminated something here so that you could grow this garden, okay? And you're going to say, look, I'm ready. I've got my sandals on. I'm ready to go on another quest to for the four of this team here. I don't know what path to go down, but I'm ready to take whatever one God wants me to do. It's like... It's a, a new choice. You're going to make a choice of a new path of investment, a new place for someone to invest in. It could be something to do with kids. And it's a hopeful wish. After all the crap's come out of that closet, and then all these pests have come out of this chest, that's the hopeful wish. The, hope, the, the thing you hope for will only come when you humble yourself, when you realise that no one's perfect, when your naked truth is out. That's that's the new beginning, and you're ready, okay? You're ready to commit, okay? Make a choice. Um, but it could come after someone says something quite... Not, I'm hearing the word bitter. I don't use that word, but it's the bitterness. They've got a bitterness towards you. Um, 
knows that Matthew sees his person coming towards you from abroad, and you're going towards them. But it could be these people that are trying to push you off your path see that this love swiftly comes to you, and that it's like such a swift morph. It's like such a change in direction, or it's a, such a, a fast movement forward that they start to tell you home truths about yourself, and you're like, it's okay, I'm starting afresh. I'm choosing wisely. I'm, I'm, I'm grounded. I've got four. I've not got just two legs on the ground. I've got four on the ground. And I'm ready to go with the spiritual God. And I'm ready to listen to what God, the, the message, the quest he wants me to go on to actually get the, I want to swear, the fleece out of this dragon's mouth so that none of you lot can push me off that path again. So this is what I'm saying. I think it's good to concentrate on yourself and focus on it right at the end of the tunnel. Careful who you're invested in. Nobody's perfect, no. A lot of stuff's going to come up for you to see the truth this week. You're going to be going somewhere that something needs to be terminated before you can have this fresh start. And it might be you need to end a relationship for good. You cannot go back to it, okay? Focus on that right at the end of this tunnel. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a, a Virgo, um, I don't know what else is there. Let's ask the angels. Spirit guides, what would you like? Romance angels, what would you like? Scorpio, sorry, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Angels, spirit guides, universe. So now I'm looking, I'm looking for the hearts. I'm looking for the cups, and there aren't any cups. This could be to do with just a house, a business, and self-employment, or someone that you've worked with. You've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It's about who it's passionate. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. And express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So let's ask the angels. So there's no one perfect. I feel this reconciliation, if they lied in the past, you know, this is what's going to happen. There's going to be some communication. There's going to be this some kind of termination where nobody wins, but a new beginning to plant seeds for the future. You're making choices based on security and vulnerability and being open and um, mindful uh, and taking on a new quest, a new holy ground, that one that you, it's like, Okay, I didn't get that one because those people didn't want me to have it. And I allowed them to push me off my path. But now, you might cut out someone, or those people, to get... Because it's like they don't like that you're travelling, or they don't like that your, uh, your business is taking off. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. But there is an engagement, there's reconciliation, there's reconciliation, engagement, wedding. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture because this could lead to a wedding. What a hopeful wish is coming true. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? Scorpio, sorry. Okay, we've got change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcome you desire. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. It could be like, the, I mean, there could be something of a pet. It might be an aged pet. And that, uh, like, you know, I put my dog down just before Christmas and it, it, she was old. That might be determination. I, I, I don't. Sometimes it's like, go with your animal instinct, that card. I, it always foxes me, that card. Foxes me. <laughs> Let me another card. Angel, spirit guides, universe. What would you like, Scorpio, sorry? You are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. That's good. Yeah, these lower energies are just trying to... They're jealous of, of this, this love, of this swift love, this action that's going to be taken. But maybe you need to end the bad, like, you need to terminate something. It could be that this 
journey gets cancelled because you decide to invest in something else, invest in a new love, invest in a new path, because you're you, you're vulnerable. But it's a hopeful wish coming true. Um, express your love there, and uh, that's it. Take care, Scorpio, and please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll speak to you soon.